What is happening guys and today we have the sixth episode of Chessford FC Career Mode. From the last time we left off uh, we uh, did pretty well, got a few points on the board and stuff like that. I'm going to do myself a favour and go to the season bit and sim to there and get to the crew match. Some decent result, decent uh, fixtures coming up. Got crew at home next. Hopefully, pick up the victory. If we can, I'm insane. Also, uh, if we can smash a like, that'd be insane as well. 20 likes, like I said, would be amazing. Subscribe for new comment down below, all that good stuff. And yeah. So we're beating Chessful, well, Chessful are winning, we are. 1 0 with, Cam with uh, Sylvan Evax Blake, making it 1 0. And I think that's how the match is going to be. Oh no, Connor and Meyer goes and scores, and Inman goes and scores for Crew. 2 1 to Chessfield, and that's how it's going to finish. Hopefully, we can end all these episodes in like the 10th episode, and if we can't, then we'll just sim a few of these matches. Against Peterborough. Now, hopefully, we can win this match. If we can, then that'd be insane. O'Shea Grinson scores another goal, making it 1 0 Chesterfield. Nabby Grinson scores for Peterborough, making it 1 1 in the match. Not too bad at the moment. Hopefully, we can pick up a victory though, because we need these three points really, really vitally. And looking at it, we're going to draw 1-1, one, one. yes, we have, we drawn 1-1 one, one against Peterborough. The next uh, match is against the Doncaster Rovers. I think we're going to obviously win this match, so I'm just going to press Y and sim it all. Because I'm pretty confident we could possibly win this match. And yes, we did. Dan Garner scored twice, which is absolutely insane. We are now against Blackpool, another confident match, so I'm going to skip this match again. This is just so it's quicker and hopefully I can get everything done by episode 10, if I can, that'd be insane. Blackpool will uh, score 1-0. Uh, then Ollie Banks goes and equalises and making it 1-1. One, one. And it comes up to half time now, it's still 1-1, one, one, so I'm going to skip that. And it's still 1-1, one, one. and that's how it finishes for Chester for this match. If I know I'm confident of winning, I'm just going to sim it. If not, I just let it play through. Obviously, Shrewsbury's match is going to be a sim match straight away because I know exactly how it's going to finish. 2-0 to Chesterfield with O'Shea and Little being the scorers. That is a three points vital for Chesterfield, which is needed. And now we have Shrewsbury Town, not Shrewsbury Town, we have Swindon Town away from home. This is a confident result, well, for me anyways. Probably won't win it, but we drew the match 0-0. A boring game all round for Chesterfield supporters that travelled over there. Uh, the next match now, we have Fleetwood Town away from home, I think that is. Yes, it is. This is another confident match. We beat them at home, so obviously should be them away. They're not a bad team, but let's see it. And we drew 2-2 with O'Shea scoring both of these goals. O'Shea is actually on fire right now. I just cost I need to I'm gonna check what contracts are running out. Oh dear. Loads of contracts are running out, like loads of contracts are running out. But since we've got Port Vale in the uh, in the league We actually lost 2-1 against Port Vale, which is not too good. I'm not going to renew any of the contracts because at the end of the day, I'm getting up to episode 10, I'm going to finish off this season and then I'm going to leave it there because as soon as I've got all these episodes out, it probably will be near on FIFA 17 and I don't want to keep uploading. I'm just going to upload all this till like end of August. Stuff like that, see how far we can get. Now we have South End in the uh, league. 
away from home. We're going to play out this match because this match is going to be very important. And then Hunt goes and scores, makes it 1 0 for South End United. Uh, this is a bad, bad start, but then O'Shea goes and scores. I can count on O'Shea every single day of the week. He's banging in goals left, right, and centre. Then Payne goes and scores, makes it 2 1 to South End. Then the Musa makes it 3 1 to South End. This is going really, really downhill for Chesterfield. And then O'Shea goes and gets a consolation goal, makes it 3 2. He scores a second goal. But that is how it finishes. That is not very good after all, but it can't be helped. Now we have Scunthorpe United in the next match at home. This is not very confident, to be honest with you. So I'm going to play out this match and see how it goes. And so Ebags Blake, Buzzard Scores makes it 1 0 to town. Bali Aribi. Cousin gets yellow card, same with Evo, two yellow cards on the Chesterfield score, well on the Chesterfield sheet. Still 1-0 to Chesterfield, and then Dan Garner scores for Chesterfield, making it 2-0. Then Scunthorpe make it back with 2-1 with Ness, and comes up to the 85th minute. Novak goes and bags another goal, making it 3-1 to Chesterfield, and that's how the game finishes. Not a bad start for Chesterfield there, and that makes it. That. Now we play Oldham Athletic in the next match now. And hopefully we can pick up victory. If we can, that'd be insane. And we're gonna well, we're gonna play out this match. E bags play goes and scores again for chess for making it 1-0. And hopefully we can carry on this victory, hopefully we can get some more goals going in, left, right and centre. Because Oldham are not a bad team, should be beating teams like this easily. Oldham should be losing this match unless they pull a goal back right at the end. Which most likely probably will do. But they haven't, that's 1-0 chest full and that's how the match finishes. Ebags play with the goal again, that's not too bad. Just fall back in 6th place. And now we're Bradford City in the last match of this episode. So if you've enjoyed, smash a like, subscribe, and comment down below, all that good stuff. Now let's go on with this match. And yeah, we'll leave it there and continue with the next episode in episode 7. Hopefully you can enjoy. O'Shea goes and bags in another goal. You can count on O'Shea right there. Um, Clark goes and scores, making it 1 1. Cullen makes it 2 1 to Bradford. And. I'm going to skip it and it finishes 2-1 to Bradford City. This is how the episode is going to finish. I'm going to start... Um, I think I might start Novak now. Because Novak's been banging into the goals. Uh, this Brownhill. Brownhill I'm going to put on the bench and hopefully that goes well. I'm not going to renew any contracts, like I said, because I'm not obviously going to continue this career mode at all. Um, but the table's like that. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty decent, to be honest with you. O'Shea scored 18 goals. That is absolutely incredible. I actually might just renew these contracts and stuff like that and just see how it goes. I'm going to renew all next episode when we play Gillingham. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a nice YT. You guys have been awesome. 20 likes would be insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy episode 7 next, uh, next time we do it. And yeah.